I was caught off guard completely. What you are about to hear is true. He had come into my home, and all of a sudden I got hit with an object in the back of my head. Shockingly true. And that was the first time. And then it just continued after that and got more violent. You are meeting Tracy Mutes. In the beginning, I would say I fell because I would be threatened uh, by him, that he would kill me if I reported him. A crime victim in St. John. But the injuries continued to where I was actually going to the emergency room quite a bit. Uh, black eyes, um, bruises all over, bruises on my neck from being choked. Um, he would sneak in my house while I was sleeping and I'd wake up with his hands around my neck just to terrorize me. And I was afraid, I was afraid of him because he said he would kill me. This is a story you must hear. One night, um, the beating was so bad, I was thrown down the stairs. Um, he choked me to the point that I couldn't swallow, and he passed out drunk. A story you must hear before you vote. And I fled, and I went to the emergency room, and at that point, uh, the physicians at the emergency room called the sheriff's department to come in. Tracy turned to Sheriff Wayne Jones for help, because the man abusing her was a St. John Sheriff's Lieutenant. But the outcome wasn't what she expected. When I told Sheriff Wayne Jones that one of his deputies was abusing me, he refused to take action, he refused to help me, and he politely escorted me out the door. I brought an overwhelming amount of evidence to him, and I showed him medical reports, I played voicemail messages where I was being threatened. Tracy felt hopeless. The abuse by the deputy continued, and Tracy tried to appeal to Sheriff Jones once again. So I went a second time when I found out about another female that he had victimized. And um, again, he said he was not going to take any action. Um, I asked him if I could see internal affairs, and he said no, that everything had to go through him. Sheriff Wayne Jones sent Tracy away twice. Considering the evidence that I brought to his attention, I expected that the sheriff would have opened a full-blown investigation and, and actually made me feel secure that he was going to do something about it. But when he escorted me out the door and I left sobbing and terrified because when you go to the highest ranking officer who's governing all of these other officers and he discounts you completely and walks you out of his office, you feel hopeless. I felt hopeless. And so then I decided I had to take matters into my own hands and find someone who would investigate it. Tracy Mutes was raped, beaten, and threatened with death by a sheriff's deputy. And uh, he just started hitting me, and then he wanted to have sex. When you have a loaded 9 millimeter next to your head, and you know, it, it's hard to explain why um, people are afraid to report things like that, but he was the law. He, you know, they wouldn't believe me over him in most cases, I thought. Tracy took her case to the state police. The deputy was indicted for forcible rape. So while I was having him investigated for violent crimes against me and other women, he was carrying a gun, he was wearing a badge, and he was investigating rapes, murders, domestic violence, and other types of crimes. Tracy's terror ended when the deputy pled guilty to a lesser offense. What made you decide to plead guilty? You have anything to say? Yes, sir. Tracy's torment should have ended with a visit to the sheriff, but it didn't. And now Tracy's horror may be the sheriff's worst nightmare. Sheriff Jones doesn't protect families. Sheriff Jones protects the people that he chooses to protect. He defends his officers when he knows they're committing crimes. It's happened numerous times over the past few years, and these people were high-ranking deputies who have been in trouble with the law for really violent crimes and hurt a lot of people. I pray that he will not be reelected. He doesn't deserve to be in that position. People aren't protected. Crime is up regardless of what he says. And I can never feel safe walking outside of my house anymore because of the crimes that were committed against me. And he didn't even help me. 
You can vote to change what's happening in St. John with your one private vote. Tracy Mutes surely will. Please vote for Mike Tregg. Sheriff Jones has to go. 